Hey everybody, how you doing? So I've seen a lot of people um, saying that um, the only way out of this current situation we're in is through voting and, you know, established ways of sorting things out, voting, petitions, and that kind of stuff. And I think we've already realised that petitions don't actually do anything because we've got that petition that had, what was it, over, I think it's got nearly over 3 million um, signatures on it now declaring and wanting a general election and that was just dismissed out of hand just gone petitions don't do anything nothing at all there's nothing to back them up there's, there's there's no power in them whatsoever so long as parliament has the ability to just ignore them they carry no power whatsoever i'm sorry they just don't um and i'm going to play you this video in a bit with dominic cummins and he explains why your vote has no power in this country you may think it does yes you can you can elect mps and things like that but the real power is always in government and government is controlled the re the, the real the real government we have a deep state here in the uk just as america has a deep state and it's firmly in charge of our institutions and our government we have no real power as people it's just an illusion it's just uh, parliament is just a pantomime where things are acted out and we are given the illusion of control and that we have some kind of influence over the people that govern us. I'll play this by Dominic Cummins now because it's very interesting. The, the person in the... So if you think of um, two roles, right? The Foreign Secretary in Great Britain and the Private Secretary in the PM's office responsible for foreign affairs an official whose name has never been in the newspapers. That person was like 10 times more powerful and important than the Secretary of State was. And I think this is something which people just don't really realize. And it's part of like how the whole system has just has become fake. So you have fake meritocracy, fake responsibility, and then fake cabinet government. So they all walk up Downing Street, the cameras were, they pose they smile ha ha i'm going into the most powerful meeting aren't i great but it's all nonsense the cabinet is just a kind of stage theater and actually officials in the cabinet office have already decided it all um when you when you sit in whitehall now right in meetings they are literally scripted so when the prime minister has a meeting with ministers what happens is that before you, the prime minister has that meeting Officials go into the Prime Minister's study and they give him a folder. And in the folder at the front is a thing called Chairman's Notes. And that's the script and that's what the Prime Minister reads out. And the conclusions of the meeting are in the Chairman's Notes, drafted before the meeting happens, right? So the Prime Minister says, hello, Secretary of State, blah, 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 blah. And then all these officials sit around the sides on chairs around the, around the edge of the room. And then the, the MP, the Secretary of State, all look down at their folders because they've all got their scripts. Right. And it's this is why I use the MPC meme. Right. Because then the prime minister reads out, well, here we're here to discuss blah, blah, blah. And then he goes around the room and then secretary of state for justice or the foreign secretary reads out his bullet points. And then he reads out their bullet points. And they read out. If anyone goes on script, you see the official sort of go and then look over at the other official inside the room. And kind of go. That means we'll come back to that after the meeting and make sure that that doesn't happen. And then at the end, it was a fascinating, great discussion. Thank you so much for your wonderful, insightful, original contributions. And then he reads out the conclusions which are all drafted in advance. And it sounds like a parody, but it is literally how the British state functions. Um, so basically, we, we, our, the government we think is in control isn't really in control. All the decisions are already made for them. This is why it seems like we that the parties are basically the same it's because they are the same it's because the people who are really in control just feed them scripts and just tell them what to say no real decisions get ever get made by um, the prime minister's cabinet or anything like that it's all it's all the deep state the deep state does it and you know they're, they're just puppets we, we knew this already but this is just confirming it and quite rightly lawrence fox says here it may be a good time for dominic cummins to reassure people that he definitely would not kill himself exactly because people who tend to blow the whistle on this type of stuff don't tend to live very long do they and this i think this is just me just saying to these people that say believe in the system i don't believe in the system anymore and this is why it's because it's pure pantomime i can't believe in a system that's fake that doesn't do anything 
that doesn't work anymore. It just doesn't, does it? You know, and there's no way in hell that these people are going to allow Reform Party anywhere near the seats of power. It's never going to happen. And the way they do that is by keeping the first past the post system. Because while ever we've got that system, no party like Reform is going to break through. It's just not going to happen. They won't allow it to happen. We will see large scale voter fraud like what we saw in America. They want to keep the status quo. They want to keep their power. They're not going to allow any other party to take the place of either Labour, the Lib Dems or the Tories because they're controlled. The only thing you would see rising to the top would be controlled opposition. Something to give the people so they, they think they're voting their way out of this, but they're not really, if you know what I mean. Just something for you all to think about, all those that think that, yeah, we can get out of this. And fighting the centre ground, you're not going to get out of it. There's no way. The, the, the opposition is too far to the left to take for us to take the centre ground. I used to be on the left. As time has gone on, I would say over the last 10 years, I've slowly moved from the left through to the centre and to the right. I'm firmly on the right of politics now, definitely. Not far right, I'm just on the right of politics. Not centre right or anything like that, I'm firmly on the right of politics now. And it's all due to the situation we're in. And that's where we need any type of political party that's speaking for us to be. They must be firmly on the right. Not a, a centre right party or in the centre because you're not going to win anything from that ground whatsoever. When you have a hard left opposition, you need a hard right opposition. It's as simple as that. This is Vindicator, signing off.